for as long as I can remember, our fishing has been completely dictated by the weather. We've had to deal with cyclones, heavy rain forecasts, crazy winds, you name it, we've had it. And the weather windows in and amongst that craziness has been short. And then on top of that, we're trying to align our little lives to match those weather windows. Milan's building the house and yeah, anyway, not this time. This time we've got a couple of good weather days ahead of us. And this time we have the time to go and make use of the good weather that is forecast. And when I was packing my gear on this one, I packed a rod, an 18,000 soul tiger, and one of Hamish's popping stick baits. And I'm gonna try and catch myself a lamb-based kingfish on this one. And I haven't caught a lamb-based kingfish in like 10 years. I haven't caught a kingfish from the rocks since we were making TV. So if I am able to catch a kingfish from the rocks on this mission, it is gonna be awesome. Right now, coffee is brewing. Milan's organizing all his gear. We'll get all our gear sorted. Yeah, get a coffee in us. And then we have a fairly reasonable walk into a really, really good spot, giving myself the best chance that I can to catch a kingfish on this one. We're gonna fish out the day. We are camping tonight, and then we'll be back at it again tomorrow. So two days of fishing. NATO's trying to catch a land-based kingfish. And Milan is behind the phone on this one for as much as he can handle <laughs> without picking up a rod. I will uh, film up into the point where he's got a live bait in the water and then I'll just leave my stick bait ready, willing, able. And if a kingfish turns up, then I'll be into it. Or if a kingfish won't eat a live bait, or even if it does eat the live bait, maybe I'll just grab that. But yeah, anyway, bring it on. It's gonna be awesome. Kingfish has already been spotted. We're right on low tide. So it was kind of... Stick bait him, bro, stick bait him. Yeah, I'm all rigged, ready to go. One more cast and if it's nothing, I want to get a um, sluggo set up too. Come on, Kingy. Hey, get out of it, snapper. You right there? Trace is a little bit long, just getting ready, you know. Should put my life jacket back on in case I end up on the drink, eh? Should. That's the one I want mid-screen right there. He's a bit darker, a bit lazier, and just a little bit bigger than all the rest. He looks good. These fish are coming out of the water to eat Milan's bait while he's trying to wait for the bigger fish to come up. <laughs> that is cool, man. Oh, Kelpie. Kelpie. Oh, can I film him? Yeah. Man. <laughs> I know I'm getting a little bit excited about a Kelpie, but when you're the cameraman... <laughs> Kelpies are awesome. He is very, very cool. Milan just hooked a little one and we just seen a real big snapper. Milan needs a bigger bait. That was like a one fish lunch and dinner sorted. He was awesome. All right, Milan's got a reasonable bait. See if that bigger snapper rises up to it again. That was a good snapper, man. Yeah. That's three times as long as anything else there. So that your bait's been picked up. Is it him? Yeah. It's a fish. But is it the fish? No. Can we eat that one? Yep. Yeah, yeah, we'll take that. That bait will do it. Sink. If that bigger fish is down there, you'll see that one. On the bait. What? The big one? Oh, you got him! Oh, no. he it. He didn't hook it. Did he just grab your bait? Yeah. Gutted.
Oh well. We got a feed trying to um trying to catch the big one at least. That was a really nice snapper, mate. Eh? Yeah, what'd you let it go for? Because I, I thought it had the bait, but it hadn't swallowed. It was just holding on to it. Did I just miss you getting busted off? Yep. <laughs> Did my drag up too tight. Relane's out of bait. He's going to catch some mouse mouse for bait. Because there's holy moly amount of them. Got one. Nice looking bait, Milan. It's going to be a big snapper. Big snapper, he says. It's going to be something big. Got your bait, mate. It's a nice looking bait. Yeah. Come on, Milan. Come on, Milan. It's the best one of the day, isn't it? It is. I'll take him, mate. Yeah, we'll eat that one. Got a whole mau mau, that one. He ate a whole mau mau. Yep. What a greedy man. Perseverance, but now I've got to catch some more mau mau baits. All your mau mau baits eaten already? Yeah. What a problem to have. Problem to have. Fresh baits, oh, eh? They're eating the fresh baits. It's a nice fish, that one, Milan. Good eater for me and you this afternoon. Oh, mate. That's a whole mau mau, Milan. Yeah. I can't stop them picking it off. <laughs> you throw a whole one out. <laughs> can't stop the pickers. Whole one might do it, he reckons. Oh, that one looks better. That one better, me, Len. Yep. How much better? I don't think it's whopper whopper. Whopper whopper. Not whopper status. Dinner status, though, eh? Yeah. I'll happily have that one, me, Len. Yeah, he's an easy filler to that one. Nice work. That's it. Real big one, it'd be nice to get a photo with, but. Right now, all I'm thinking about is my belly. It's almost belly time too. Milan just called lunchtime and there'll be no complaining from the cameraman. So we are gonna pack up our gear head back to where we are staying the night and then I will put a knife to those beautiful snappers that Milan caught, have ourselves some fresh snapper to eat and that is a really good thing. And after that, we'll make a plan for this afternoon. But I reckon that plan is gonna be to head down to the beach and fish off the beach. Maybe use the drone to try and spot something. Hopefully it's nice and sheltered in there, but. Either which way, we'll find something to do and hopefully there'll be some fish at the end of it. But this one is off to an awesome start. There's another green chair in there as well. Fish on toast, man, that's a new one. Yeah, and then there's a green chair in there as well and then you can sit on the green chair. You've outdone yourself, <laughs> son. Wait till you see dinner. <laughs> have I ever told you how good it is to have a belly full of fish? that was caught, filleted, and cooked 
right before your very eyes on the same day that it was caught. <laughs> it is awesome. Although a belly full of food does make you a little bit lethargic, but the boys didn't let that stop them from heading out on another fishing mission. We had the plan of going down onto the beach and just fishing off the beach. And I put the drone up and pretty quickly located a school of mullet. But if there were kingfish anywhere in the vicinity, then I'm pretty sure I would have seen them. So after about, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes of scouting around with the drone, trying to find something to catch, something to try to catch, Milan made the call that he wanted to drive back up the coast and walk down another ledge and try another ledge. And it's another ledge that we've fished before and done, actually no, we've never caught a fish at that ledge before, but we have seen fish there. But yeah, anyway, made the uh, scramble down the rocks, down to the water and fished there for about uh, maybe two hours. Milan put in a solid two hours and he did hook a fish, but it just didn't stick. And then when Milan lost that fish, he started talking about the tomahawk steaks that were in the chili bin back at the shed. And uh, what did I reckon about packing up, climbing back up the hill, jumping back in the truck, and then coming back to the shed and sticking those tomahawk steaks onto our little lateral line char grill machine. If I'm honest, <laughs> it didn't take much persuading to get a yes out of me. So. We are right now back at the shed. Milan is cooking the boys' dinner in the form of Scotch Follett tomahawk steaks. And then it's definitely going to be an early night. It was a 2.30 a.m. start for me yesterday. Went tree hunting for the day. The alarm clock was ringing at 3 a.m. this morning to come fishing today. And I guess it's going to be ringing early as tomorrow because Milan's already talking about all the different things that we could, should, and would do tomorrow. So... Yeah, once we have consumed dinner, I think Milan's going to be dreaming about tomorrow's mission. See you all then. What have we got there, Milan? Tomahawk, Scotch bullet steak. And a Japanese curry. Japanese curry. Ooh. Just to finish it off. It's real good. Real, real, real good. Good grams. Mmm. Another day and another fishing mission has begun. Yesterday we had next to no swell for the first time in I don't know how long pretty much as long as I can remember. But this morning when we woke up, we are once again greeted with a fair bit of swell. Well, when I say a fair bit of swell, enough swell that trying to capture audio is a little bit hard with the water lashing up and down the rocks. So Milan made the call and I was in agreement to go around the corner a little bit and try to get out of it. And um, we didn't actually get out of the swell too much, but we are at a new spot and hopes are high. Love fishing new spots. It is the same piece of coast that we've fished a number of times, but yeah, just jumping on Google Earth and having a look around and going, oh, we'll try here and we'll try there and we'll try there. And you might just find another little bit of magic right smack bang in the middle of something that you've um, been fishing for forever, right? So anyway, Leanland's rigging up. Burley's in the water. Everything's good. The wind is pretty much non-existent. So that is a great thing. And as always, just trying to take some fish home today. Milan will be trying to catch kingfish. I've left my rod and reel in the car. Leave him to this one. And um, we've already got a couple of snapper fillets in the truck in the chili bin. But yeah, just love to go home with some fresh fish to enjoy tonight and tomorrow and the next day. And if I can hand some around to friends and family, that would be even better. Go Milan, I say. Catch a big one, Milan. Bring it on, Milan. Let's see what you can do, Milan. Here we go. It's fun fishing new spots, NATO. Yeah, I like new spots. Good 
atrás. First good snapper bait for the day just went out. Yo yo! First decent snapper bait produces exactly what the boys wanted. <laughs> just like that, NATO. Just like that, man. Well done, Milan. And thank you very much, Mr. Snapper. You're going to be greatly enjoyed after a hard oh. fishing mission. <laughs> Every mission's hard. Can we bleed it as well? Yep. Wicked. Come on, snapper for dinner so far. Maybe kingfish. You've got to love it when a live bait just stays in the same place and you can put your rod in the rod holder and go snapper fishing and not have to worry about it. I just packed the drone away, was climbing down the rock, and Milan just caught another big snapper. What a beautiful condition. Man. Hopefully I can get you a few of those. We've got two now, three now. I wish I still had the drone up to form them with the drone. That would have been cool. We'll stick it back up again then. <laughs> You're gonna catch another one here again. I think I'm gonna get the bigger one. Believe it or not, it's just started raining again, so I'm quickly going to do an end talk right now before it all turns to cack. On a brighter note, Milan has three beautiful snappers down there to take home and a number of kawai, so um, we're gonna be eating like kings for the next few days, which is awesome. Our next fishing mission, I am hoping that we are on board Hamish's brand spanking new boat and fishing with him out of his boat. I love land-based fishing, don't get me wrong, but we have been landlocked for quite some time, so it's gonna be awesome to be back on a boat. And we've been getting invites and offers of accommodation and awesome fishing spots, and yeah, just got a lot of cool things in the pipeline for the very near future. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of this one. Choo-choo, my brothers and sisters. Thank you all so very, very much for watching The Lateral Line. It is, as always, greatly appreciated. I will leave you with Milan's build video and we'll see you all again very, very soon. Here comes the rain. The cold Morrinsville mornings have come again. Fog has started filling the basin during the nights, bringing beautiful still days with low fog and a bit of sunshine with a sprinkling of rain. I was hoping to be in for the start of winter, but the timber work is really pulling the building site into low gear. I don't think Andre or myself really understood the amount of work that was going to be required to get this house into a finished state. But saying all that, I wouldn't have it any other way. All that time before the build of the house collecting timber has really paid off. And now we have beautiful timber to change into a format that we can utilize on site. Running out of timber was something we thought might be a problem. But now with the wall starting to be completed, I think we have enough to get through. We might have to change things here and there as we're working with four or five different varieties of timber. But the recycled look was what I was after for the inside and recycled it will be. With weeks drifting past, we need to start pulling the finger as James Patterson, the master cabinet maker, will be turning up to install his creation. James has been building the kitchen out of all the recycled timber as well. So I think we are all looking forward to the day that kitchen finds its location in the heart of the home. But first we have to have everything ready so when he turns up next week, 
he can just get straight into installing and not help us build as he only has a window of opportunity to complete the build. As he has a busy schedule of work ahead and as much as we are like brothers, time is time and we are all time poor. I just can't wait till I get my time back by completing the house so I can set my sights on exploring new waters for the lateral line. Have an awesome week ahead and remember to enjoy the little things. The Lateral Line is proudly brought to you by Violet Organic Foods.